everything will Okay. Can everybody hear me? Yes. No. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to be have my dad's voice now. <laughs> So he wrote a poem Aww. for Dad. So if you see him cry, look the other way. I'll just tell you cry. I cried when you lost John Roberts too. It's called the poem from two. As most of you know, our father has a knack for rhymes and words. So we decided on a special day we might try and give it a whirl. Please don't judge us because this is new. The poems we have written are far and few. Hope you enjoy this poem from two. Dad, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you've always been our rock and stones, and through our eyes you have always shown. Even though we have given you a few big scares <laughs> and blessed the top of your head with gray hairs. <laughs> you have always forgiven us for the things we have done and made any sicky situation quite some fun. Let us begin at a time long ago when football and baseball were your world, we know. Then you met mom, she gave you quite a run, but you grew up, your love for each other was a ton. You made it up official on September 14th. A few guests were honored with that scene. Lindy came first and Kelsey came after to fill your life with even more laughter. You were a teacher and a great one at that, and of course the wrestling coach. I remember the mat. Lindy the ballerina was most graceful in ballet classes. Kelsey, rough and tumble, you prayed she didn't break her glasses. <laughs> Lindy had you in class. She loved it, of course. You had made Kelsey a promise to be her teacher, too, at first. You became dean and assistant principal soon to come, and we were so proud. Disappointments, we had none. You left for Lewistown to create magic over there. Lindy graduated. Her talent, she had to share. We got you Ruger to keep you sane. <laughs> Kelsey got two horses to do the same. <laughs> you soon came back to the town of Huntingdon to fill Kelsey's and the school's lives with fun. You were given principal and we were so delighted. Like back in medieval times, it was like being knighted. The people you knew, your time they enjoyed, you bless this school with so much joy. You made even the unmotivated student want to try, and of course, at the 2010 graduation, your words made us cry. The Educator of the Year Award, you got it, we knew you would. The reason for no promotion, we would not have understood. You received the job going back to your roots, where the dress code involves wearing your boots. <laughs> no one was angry or betrayed from your going. This job and life you earned, they were all knowing. Dad, you always said, reach, reach for the stars. No matter what, just follow your heart. None else could be a better father and role model. You touched our hearts since before we could toddle. To any who oppose, should get ready for a beating because as your family we will follow to wherever you're leading so dad we are sorry if you cry because that wasn't our goal to show how much we care and are proud of you was its role to the man who loved us first when we slobbered and our farts were the worst <laughs> like you did in us, to express our love, pride, and need for you, this poem is not enough. But we tried, and now we must end, to have more fun with time together we spend. Thank you, Dad, for being our sturdy base, which you even did so with grace. Love you, Dad.
I'm real short. I'm not as long as living with my daughter. I, I just want to thank every one of you for being here. Um, in one way or the other, every one of you played such an important part for me getting to where I am now. Um, I got a wonderful wife. She's been my best friend for 33 years. We met tonight, 33 years ago. Am I right? Where's my wife? <laughs> 33 years ago. Um, I know. I know she was sober when it happened. <laughs> Too, actually. Um, and she, she was chewing on ice chips because she wasn't feeling real well, if I remember correctly. Am I right? Yep, I was sick to my But I, I, I want to thank all of you for being here. Um, I, I had the, the time of my life here at Huntington, and I'm, I'm going to have the time of my life at Bald Eagle. Um, it's a great opportunity for me to go back home. Um, I need to go back home for several reasons. Uh, my dad's a little bit like I am. He's 75. Well, I'm not 75, but <laughs> not yet. I hope to see 75. Um, but it's just family's there, and that's where I grew up. Um, and I know as, as kind and good as Huntington was for me, there is no place like home. Um, I'm looking forward to going back. But I cannot thank every one of you enough for what you've done for me and my family. Um, I can get through this. I know. <laughs> um, Lindy and Kelsey, the education they got, uh, I can't say enough about Huntington and the Huntington community. Uh, we were welcome from day one. Um, Pete Sellers, who isn't here, I, don't, I didn't see Pete. Um, Kind of took me under a wing along with Roger Hoover and some other guys, um, uh -oh. Coach uh -oh. Law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coach Lawson, um, obviously at the middle school, uh, Jeff Wingate, and we had a great time, Eddie Hammers. Um, it was super. So, um, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for my help my family get through the things that we got through, uh, Lindy and Kelsey and their education they received. It's been wonderful. I'm going to miss every one of you. I'm going to stay in touch. Um, I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you.